Mm, nosy 30 guys let's get it okay y'all see this oh boy we got some major now i know good and well this pentastar did not come out of here in fact it didn't okay this intake did not go on this all right so we got a lot of engine work going on over here guys i think this one hydrolock water guys you can't compress water now and don't for instance start thinking uh Pentastar is a junk engine. When you induce problems into any engine, the engine will fail. Okay. Oh, he already got it out. All right. Where's the old one? The old one, I think this it right here, guys. Yes, this is the one they brought on the truck uh, over there. This is the one that come out of it. Hey, he say he had a lot of water and I think it flooded somewhere. We just had a big rainstorm here a couple days ago, so likely a customer tried to try their luck. And uh, yeah, you can see the writing on the intake. It's a used engine, guys. I don't know if it came from the junkyard or not, but fairly easy stuff to do, guys. Uh, the rag man came today and took off all our fender covers, so he left us some new ones. So they're going to put fender covers back on him. This looks like an eight-speed rear-wheel drive transmission. Going back in with this Pentastar, guys. Pentastar 3.6 liter V6 engine. All right, so... That's what's happening over here. Yeah, he got everything off. Uh, now, this this the one that's outside. This is a Hemi. This is a Hemi heads, Hemi lifters and everything. Man, you have got to have a decent hell of a memory to memorize. Uh, he got three separate cars going on. This is a Hemi. This is a Pentas. Oh, the Hemi come out of this, uh, this truck, this 1500. Okay. So, he got that all torn down. So, uh, let's go see what's going on with this. Ah, look at this monster here, guys. And this was equipped with a stick. So, guys, notice what I said earlier. All the Hellcat engines. I don't think this is Hellcat. It's just uh, the big Hemi. I can't remember which. Uh, this is 392, guys. Okay, but as you can see from the clutch, <laughs> that makes it a manual transmission, right? What, you, what else do you see? Uh, it's not MDS equipped, guys. All right, so it's not an MDS engine. Most of the stick uh hemi setups i don't know why they did it that way i don't know what's the uh obviously racing is the motive behind it because you don't really care about killing cylinders if you're racing right so why bother with mds okay so with that um you got a stick <laughs> you obviously maybe a small chance you're going to race at some point. So why bother with MDS, right? Now, guys, remember what I said. We, they, the rag man came and snatched all our fender covers off. So uh, we got some new fender covers up there. But he yanked this out fairly quickly, guys. Uh, this big 392 and this, what did I say? This is like a char challenger, okay? Yes, so he's yanking the engine out. Oh, this one had the bottom end noise. I think they was at the track. Guys, remember I had the um, the video clip I had with the oil pan off? I don't even know if I uploaded that, but I came over here. It was Nosy 30 one time. He had the oil pan off and the bearings, some of the bearings, main cap bearings and some rod bearings. And the rod bearings all chewed up. I think this guy been at the track, but I don't want to put his business out there because, uh, I don't know. It's not my business to put his business out there. I'm just showing you what's happening okay yes we are putting the engine in here bottom end something happened on the bottom end i don't know if he punched it too hard but remember guys this engine is supposed to be built for that no matter how hard you punch it guys and then we mostly all hemi engines equipped with a oil temp switch and an oil pressure sensor that's pretty much how they can tell if you got the wrong weight of oil in the car okay it does some calculation it take this readings from the temp I want to say it's the temp and the uh, oil pressure. Take those two and calculate some numbers, and it can snitch on you guys. It can tell the computer if you install the wrong weight of oil. And in some models, I got in trouble for saying all models. In fact, it's not all models, but in some models, it would just merely store a code. 1521, I want to say. Now, in some other models, it will turn on the check engine light, from my understanding. A guy called me out last week about that. So I did some research and find out he is exactly right. Some models it will turn on the light, but the older models, it'll merely store a fault code. Okay, so um, 
Yeah, so if you get that one five two one, you and a lot of guys they just simply replace both. Chances are you need them both are slim, but a lot of guys don't want to take chances. They will do both, okay? Uh same design setup guys. Hemi is a hemi is a hemi. Now what you do with the intake <laughs> is what distinguish now the block you're gonna get some various difference in the block, but not much. Okay, the magic happens in the intake and how much air is pumped into um the engine to create all that uh, torque and power guys now this is a 392 i want to say they take the zero w40 where's the oil cap on this thing uh it's a different weight of oil used on some of the 392s i don't know what an oil cap but zero w40 i want to say so it's a different weight of oil so guys the calculations that the temp sense and the oil pressure come up with better match that of zero w40 or you will get snitched on okay, okay guys so to my understanding uh the 392s uh zero w40 tip them guys i thought we was done with the tip them uh is this a tip them might just be a transfer i don't know gotta do some more reading on that but uh yeah this dude didn't even bother to drain the ac that's how fluent they are. They yank these out all the time, guys. Clutch. Uh, stick transmission, guys. No freaking uh, worry at all about uh, no needing MDS when you plan on punching this thing. Uh, well, Hemi's Pentastar. And, guys, I don't want to leave. I want to send the wrong impression, guys. These cars are not falling like flies. Between being induced and between, I don't know, could be physical torture. But I will say this. If you buy a car for to perform torture and the car is sold or being presented as torture compatible, you shouldn't have torture problems, right? So it could be one of those cases, all right? I don't know what they shipped in the wrong gear and threw a rod. I mean, who knows? Nobody knows, guys. But it's not really my business. I'm just glad the customer getting this car fixed because these are some beautiful cars, guys. Take advantage of these V8 big engines while you can because who knows what the future holds. All right? It's a uh, challenging. Yeah, who knows what the future holds. I have no idea what's about to go on. Nobody does. All right? Guys, that is all I have for Nosy30. That's all I have. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next video.